Why constantly I don't understand this lesson, as it's very difficult for me. It is not entirely clear on the subject of trigonometric function of an acute angle in a right triangle. What is trigonometric function in an acute angle in a right triangle? How do you find angles throughout the legs? It's unbelievable. How do we pay for boring in this lesson? I wonder who can help me. Any, I know a teacher who teaches very well and clearly with examples and I think he is the best teacher in the world. His video is on YouTube. Watch it for free. It will help you. Oh yeah, I'm the teacher you're looking for. I'm sure you remember my name. If you have a question like what is trigonometric function and uh, an acute angle and in the right triangle, how do we find an angle with two legs, short two legs, and how do we use Pythagorean in this lesson, then you got the right place. I can solve your problem. Then just take your pencil and paper and write down. As you know, in the last lesson I explained you about right triangle and properties of that. And today's topic is a trigonometric function of an acute angle in a right triangle and to use a Pythagorean theorem. After this lesson, you will be able to easily find an unknown angle measure in a right triangle using the sine, cosine and tangent ratios and uh, their inverse functions. There was a figure from the question and determine uh, an unknown angle in a right triangle and uh, interpret the solve real life and uh, apply problems using the triangle. First of all, you have to know these words. Uh, the first one is a, a hypotenuse, is always the longest side of right triangle, as you see. And second one is an opposite side, is a, uh, is a side directly opposite an angle concerned. And third one is the adjacent, is a side next to the angle, which is not uh, the hypotenuse. Uh, let's uh, find this angle with trigonometric function. Uh, first of all, we have to know uh, these formulas. And uh, the first one is uh, the sine, the sine theta equals to um, opposite side over hypotenuse. And uh, the second one is a uh, cosine theta equals to adjacent, adjacent leg. Uh, over hypotenuse and third one is a tangent theta equals to opposite side over adjacent side and also we have to know reciprocal of this uh, this trigonometric function the first one is a sine theta reciprocal is a cosecant theta uh, then we can write this hypotenuse over um, opposite side and then second one is a cosecant theta uh, Reciprocal is the second uh, theta, and also we can write it uh, hypotenuse over adjacent side. And uh, the third one is a tangent theta, and tangent theta's reciprocal is a cotangent theta. And uh, also we can write it like uh, adjacent side over opposite side. Okay, let's solve the example. First of all, um, in this example, we have to uh, find six trigonometric function of this angle. First of all, we uh, have to know this uh, length, length, and uh, it is we, uh, we can uh, find it with Pythagorean theorem, as you know, and uh, we can write it 5 square minus 3 square equals to x square, and then our x equals to 4. Let's uh, find trigonometric functions. First of all, as we know, sine theta equals to opposite side over hypotenuse, and our opposite side is a 4 to this angle, and we can write it, uh, it here, and then after that, uh, our hypotenuse is equals to 5, then our sine theta equals to 4 over 5, and then cosine theta equals to adjacent side 3 over hypotenuse 5. Okay, well done. And our third is a tangent theta. Tangent theta is the uh, opposite side over adjacent side. Then we can write 4 over 3. And as, as you know, this 3 uh, is a reciprocal uh, to this uh, 3 trigonometric function. And the second theta equals to 5 over 4. And second um, theta equals to 5 over 3. And cotangent theta equals to 
three over four. Yeah, well done. Our first example was a given figure finds a meter of angle in degrees to two decimal places. Okay, then we have our adjacent uh, adjacent side and also hypotenuse. Then we can we can use a cosine uh, uh, cosine formula. Then cosine theta equals to adjacent side over hypotenuse. Then it's a uh, three over eight. And all we know that uh, trigonometry, uh, inverse trigonometric function and we will use it uh, in this case and uh, r cosine 3 over 8 um, equals to our angle theta and then theta equals to 67.98 degrees we found it okay our second example uh, for the given figure, find the measure of x and y in degrees to two decimal uh, places. Okay, we know opposite side and adjacent sides, then we can use the, uh, the tangent function. Uh, then our tangent x, our tangent x equals to 4, uh, it's uh, uh, opposite side over uh, adjacent side, it's uh, 4 over 5. And then we can use the inverse trigonometric function r tangent uh, 4 over 5 equals to our angle x, and then our x equals to uh, sorry 8.66 degree. Then we know the uh, triangles uh, triangles properties, which uh, some of the Sum of the angle equals to 180 degree. Then 180 degree uh, equals to y plus y plus uh, sorry 8.66 degree plus uh, 90 degree because uh, it's a right triangle. And then our y equals to 51 point uh, sorry 4 sorry 4 degrees. Okay, our third example, given that theta is an acute angle and sine theta equals to 5 over 8, find the sine theta, uh, tangent theta and tangent theta. Then we know uh, cosine equals to adjacent side over 8 and uh, it's uh, our adjacent side is BC equals to 5 and our uh, hypotenuse uh, AC equals to 8. Then we can find uh, this length with Pythagorean theorem. It's a a square minus five square equals to x square. Then a b our x and uh, uh, our x equals to square root of sorry nine. Sorry nine. Then we can find sine theta. Sine theta equals to uh, sine theta equals to uh, opposite side. It's a square root of sorry nine over hypotenuse. 8 and then tangent theta equals to opposite side over uh, opposite side over adjacent side and then uh, our cotangent theta equals to 5 over square root of 39. Our first example ABC is a right triangle at B where BC equals to 10 cm and uh, AC equals to 18 cm and find the length AB to the nearest centimeter and the measure of angles A and C to the nearest degree. Then we use a Pythagorean theorem and our AB square equals to AC square minus BC square. Then our this angle AB square AB square equals to AG square minus 10 square and then our AB equals to 15 centimeters and then after that we uh, we can find we can find these angles these angles it's a, a theta and uh, we can use as a sine uh, sine theorem it's a sine uh, sine theta equals to sine theta equals to opposite opposite uh, side 10 over 10 over 18 
and it's equals to 5 over 9 and our uh, arc sine arc sine 5 over 9 equals to our angle then our angle equals to sorry 4 degree then after that we can use the uh, the uh, trigon, uh, triangles uh, properties then 118 degree equals to um, y angle and y plus sorry 4 degree plus 90 degree and uh, our y equals to 56 degree we found it uh, fifth example a uh, 5 meter ladder is a linear against a perpendicular wall such that its base is 2 meter from the wall work out the angle between the ladder and the floor giving your answer to 2 decimal places I guess that uh, we can solve it with cosine, uh, cosine uh, trigonometric function uh, it's uh, uh, because we have an adjacent, adjacent side and the hypotenuse and the cosine x equals to uh, 2 over 5 then we uh, use um, we use to uh, we use inverse trigonometric function or cosine 2 over 5 equals to our x then our x equals to 66 degree we found it that's all okay guys i think you have understood this lesson very well if you understood and did your homework do it like this also i understand that to determine the angle we need to know the length of two sides of triangle therefore we need a super as triangles angle has which can hold us and be helpful.